Hi YouTube family, happy Wednesday. I hope you all are enjoying your day so far. So if you can see what I have here, I have two unique things and I'm gonna be making one of my unique recipes again. I have here some saijan, or some of you might know it as moringa. And this is known to be one of the superfood now around the world. We don't only have it in Guyana, but we have them everywhere now. You can get them the powder form. You can eat the leaves of this superfood. You can eat the dried seed. People use them to help reduce diabetes. And so many other different ways you can cook this saijan. This is actually the vegetable of the plant. So you can cook this in curries. You can make it in dal. Today, I learned a new recipe from my niece. She's only 23 years old and this girl just loves saijan. So she said, Auntie, I can eat saijan, cook on its own like that. She can eat it, cook in anything. And she said, you have to try it in Edo curry. So today I'm gonna be trying the saijan. My niece asked me to try and I'm gonna try it in some Edo curry. We're not too old to learn. And I said to, I said to her, I wonder where you get your cooking skills from. But I'm just kidding. Her mom is a good cook and her dad is also a great cook. And my mom, which is her grandma and her grandparents from her dad's side, they're all also very good cooks. So I can't take credit for her and her cooking and her creative ideas as well. So if you haven't heard of Saijan and Edo curry before, Stick around and let's make it together. I'm also gonna be adding some red snapper in here. I already washed my red snapper. I'm gonna fry it and we're gonna add it into this curry. But I just wanna show you how I remove the green part of this saijan because the outer layer is very chewy and it's not very delicious. So I always peel mine off. You just take a little tip on the end and then pull it backwards like that and you will get out that very hard green outer layer like that if you don't get all of it that's fine you can leave it because it is nice and delicious once you get down to the inside so I'm gonna continue peeling them up and then we will start preparing it together so I'm gonna go ahead and peel out the edos because I just finished peeling my saijan. Look at them. Look at them how nice and vibrant and fresh. And here I have my edos. I'm gonna peel them and wash them and set them aside to prepare our curry. So now that I finished peeling and washing my edos and chopping up my saijan or moringa, I have two red snapper here that I'm gonna be using in this dish. So I just wanna season it a little. I'm gonna go ahead and add salt for flavor. And I'm gonna add some black pepper. I'm also gonna go in with some green seasoning and this is fresh ingredients, garlic, green onion, thyme, ginger, cilantro, and all that good stuff. About three tablespoons. I'm gonna flavor up the inside and the outside. I'll go in with my hands and just make sure that I have seasoning all over the fish. I'm gonna fry this to snapper to add into my curry so it's gonna have a beautiful flavor in that edo and saijan curry so i decided to cut the snapper back into smaller pieces because i want the gravy to soak in nicely into the fish and flavor up our curry beautifully while i'm frying these snapper i'm gonna share a video yesterday i went to one of my subscriber and one of our loyal viewer who share some topsoil and some plants with me. I'll share a little clipping 
we drove home to a very nice sunset and I couldn't take all that beauty in on my own. I would like to share it with you all. Hi YouTube family. I'm trying to get a good view. The sun is glaring in the camera. Happy, happy Tuesday. I am heading down to Toronto, not downtown Toronto, just the beginning, because our friend um, Kavita, who's a loyal subscriber and viewer, she always plants some seeds of peppers and some vegetables and even some flowers every in day. one kilometer. And she always share some plants with me the beginning of summer. So today I'm heading down to our friend Kavita to pick up some plants. I'm gonna see what she have for me. And she also have some top soil to share. So I'm heading down there to pick up my plants and some top soil. And I will show you guys as I pick them up. I'm gonna show you a little bit of the drive but let me switch my camera. It's a beautiful day. It's nice and sunny and it is fresh in the air. Me and Hobby is just enjoying the drive. The weather is so nice. The sun is out and it feels so peaceful. So I'm here at my friend and look at all the plants that she got me. So she planted these by herself. She has Corilla here or bitter melon. And this is marigold. This one here is a mariwari. Um, yeah. This too? Yeah, that's Jamaica. This is Jamaican and Jamaican, and Jamaican and hot pepper. Yeah. And this one here is Jamaican, too. Jamaican hot pepper. These are chili, right? Yeah. And these ones are sweet potatoes. Yeah. So I'm very excited. This is a nice variety here. I think you're okay with it. It's gonna burst from your issue. So we just collected our soil, very nice topsoil and some beautiful plants and Heading home, the sun is setting. We are having a very, very nice view of the sunset while driving home. Look at that. Me and hubby were just enjoying the beautiful sunset as we're driving home, right? Oh, yeah. It is after 7 going on to 8 and now the sun is actually setting. I'm trying my very best to get a good view of the sunset for you all. It felt like chasing the sunset, but I was able to get a good view for all my YouTube family. What a splendid view driving home with Hobby accompanied by the sunset. And we just stopped at Tim Hortons to get a refresher. It's such a beautiful day. Once in a while, we like to share a ice cap or ice cappuccino. So cheers to all my Tim Horton friends. You know who you are. So I'm mixing up my spices with my green seasoning to chunk the curry. We're gonna head on to the stove and we will start cooking our edo, saijan and red snapper curry together. So I just added my curry paste to the pan. I'm gonna mix it up a little in the oil. I'm gonna cover my pot down and I'll let it cook on medium heat until all my spices are fully incorporated 
and then my curry paste is sticking to the bottom and I have that very nice nutty fragrance we will come back to it so I'm gonna go in here with my salt as usual you can always add more at the end and I'll go in here and add my red onion you can add any onion to your dish it's up to your preference I'm gonna add a little bit of water and this water is gonna help all our spices onion salt green seasoning and everything to really combine and have a beautiful nice flavor before we go in here with our edo and saijan so you can see that my curry is nice and brown starts sticking to the bottom the oil is actually coming to the top that's when you know that it is ready for you to add your next ingredients now so i just added my nice white edo in here you know that these will cook very nice and soft i'm gonna mix up my ingredients here I just added my nice fresh moringa or saijan. We're gonna mix it up into all this beautiful flavor. Ooh la la. And another name for saijan or the moringa is drumstick. Sometimes in the store, depends on which store you go to, they will have it listed as drumstick. So a few different names. I'm gonna go in here now and I will add some water to cook our edos and soften it a bit and I have some boiling water because we don't want to stop the cooking process so while my curry is cooking I'm gonna go ahead and make my roti I need them and now I'm gonna cook them off so we can have this food nice and hot. There's nothing like a good edo curry with a nice soda roti to suck up all that juice and flavor. So our saijan and edo is cooking up nicely. And at this point, I'm gonna add my tomatoes. It smells beautiful with that saijan. It's gonna get soft like the edos. And this here is gonna be so delicious with that roti. So our edo and saijan is looking beautiful. The edo is like very nice and soft. And my saijan is fully cooked. My tomatoes are nice and really, really soft. So I'm gonna go in with the fish right at the end here. And we're not gonna cook this anymore because the fish is already cooked. We just wanted to have that nice sauce on them. And I'm adding the head as well. When the head go into the sauce, guys, it will have so much flavor. And because we're eating it with roti, I'm gonna leave extra sauce in there to dip up with my sado roti. I'm just gonna give it a twist in here like that. And you want your fish to still stand form. Ooh la la, it smells divine. So I want a big shout out to my niece, Carrie. Girl, I made the saijan and edo curry. I'm gonna give it a try soon and let you know how I like this, but thank you for sharing the recipe. And for all my vegetarian friends, you can cook the saijan and edo alone without adding the fish. At this point here, you can just let it go down with the sauce or the gravy that you need and skip the fish part and still have a delicious meal to go with your roti. For all my friends that like rice, you can have this with rice as well. So I'm gonna add a little bit of my cilantro here. I like to garnish with my cilantro. It adds a beautiful flavor and it's so good for us. And my whole family enjoy this flavor of the cilantro. I'm gonna shake it around, turn my stove off, and I'm gonna start plating up. So my dear friends, check this out. Look at the beauty here. My edo is very, very nice and soft. 
the saijan is fully cooked my tomatoes is melting up in there and the fish is just sucking up all that nice beautiful gravy i made some sada roti to go with that because i like to mash those edo with a piece of sada roti and just dip up that gravy and enjoy so i'm gonna play it up and let you guys know how this tastes because this is the first time i'm having edo and saijan together edo and fish i had many times before but i love saijan and i know this is gonna taste beautiful as well so my friends here it is and i'm gonna open one of my sada roti look how nice it's very very hot and fluffy it is on the inside and this is gonna soak up all that juice look here nice and fluffy in the inside let's go let's go for this beautiful edo curry this is something I used to always enjoy back home and every time I go home back look at the edo how nice and soft oh my goodness every time I go home the day when I arrive in Guyana I would ask my mom to make me edo curry with fry fish Enjoy. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. And I like to add some extra cilantro because the freshness of that cilantro is really delicious in this dish. Guys, look at this. So nice and soft. For all my Edo friends who's going to watch it, and I know there are too many to mention, you guys would have loved to have. A bite of this look at that uh, uh, mm. you can have this with rice roti bread anything and guys the edos are super delicious really nice and soft the flavor from the side is into the sauce and the gravy which is really really a nice flavor and I'm gonna go in and I like to break mine in half and just bite on it and pull out all what's sitting inside here mm -mm -mm. look at that amazing so my niece know exactly why she cooked this dish because it's a very sweet and delicious meal amazing if you never had it before please give it a try and this is the red snapper so I'm going to taste a piece for you all with some roti. This bring me back right to Guyana. Oh my gosh. Mmm. I'm so happy tonight, guys. And I have a warm cup of Earl Grey tea. I'm going to wash this down with it. I'm going to sit down. Hobby's waiting for me to eat. And we're going to enjoy our Edo, Saijan, and Red Snapper and chit chat and reminisce about back home so thank you all for watching hope you're having something nice and delicious as well tonight if you're new to our channel and you haven't subscribed yet i hope you'll consider subscribing soon until then stay blessed stay safe we love you all bye for now